Hi, my name is Johan Pilestad. And I'm Niklas Manborg. Today we're diving into the patch notes of Helldivers 2. One of the major changes, or well, general changes that we've done is that we uh, have increased the damage that you do when you do partial damage. So, so partial damage is when your armor penetration is the same as the target that you hit. Normally you did half damage. Now we, you're doing like two thirds. Mm. Uh, we feel that it's, uh, it removes some of the sponginess. It, it feels better overall. You see it as uh, with like um, stuff like the anti-material rifle versus uh, gunship or uh, the liberator penetrator versus the chest of a, a devastator. Mm. Like it feels like it took way too many shots when you got into that position. And um, yeah, now it, like it still matters, but it's uh, it won't feel futile to try and get that mm. damage in. Nice. I love the next one. Yeah. This is just you know, the, one of the reasons you suddenly died was like someone hit you in the head. It hurts. Maybe it hurt too much. So we lowered uh, the damage you take when you get hit in the head to it does 50% more instead of 100% more damage. So, so that's taken so, down. So it means that I will get less moments of. Uh, uh, those kind of sudden deaths. Yes. Especially against the bots, I assume. I mean, the, the, the bugs hit you in the head surprisingly often. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so uh, stuff will do more damage, but you will uh, die, uh, like the, the sudden death type of thing will happen less. Mm. Um, right, and with that change as well, the, it's easier to get injuries again. Yes. So getting a broken arm, broken leg is going to ha happen a little bit more, more frequently. Yeah, the, it's almost been like a feature that we've had that you never really saw. Because normally you either like died or that didn't happen. Now you will have more broken legs, broken arms. Oh, so, the good stuff. so return of a sweet liberty, my leg. Yes. My leg! We haven't done that much to the weapons that have currently been the most powerful. But we've done a lot to the weapons that wasn't like the top weapons. Mm, right. So. Yeah. Uh, so let's let's uh, actually let's go through this list and see uh, talk a little bit about all of the weapons. So the first yeah. one is like the Liberator and Liberator Carbine. Yeah. Uh, and as I said to the community several times, my favorite weapon is the Liberator. Uh, this time around, we've uh, increased its damage a little bit uh, from sixty to seventy. Uh, we've increased uh, the amount that it staggers enemies. We've given it a little bit more uh, spare magazines and the amount of magazines that you start with. So it's just rounding it up to bring it up to the as, as the uh, baseline for all other weapons to 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 follow. Yeah, because before you had like uh, you could take the sickle, and it did almost the same thing as the liberator. You just had infinite ammo, mm. and now it's like okay. The, the assault rifles are gonna do more damage. Mm. Like we're not we're not nerfing the sickle in any way. Like let that be what it is, because uh, it's really good. We just say like now you have a reason to take the assault rifles. Yeah. So assault rifle, more punch, more kick, more damage. Yes. More assault. <laughs> more assault. <laughs> and more rifle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then we have one uh, an additional fan favorite, the Liberator Concussive. So. Uh, you know, we had drum mags lying around. So it has a drum mag? Yeah. So, what is that, 50, 60 rounds? 60 rounds. Okay. But I assume that it's not going to have the same amount of magazines as it, as it has. No, no. We, we drag it down from 10 magazines to 6, uh, which actually means that in total you have more bullets than before. Mm. Um, so you went from, I think the total goes from 300 bullets to 360. Okay, um, but, but, but there will be an additional mechanic with a con concussive done. So if you reload early, you'll discard more rounds. Yeah, and, and one of the things with the concussive is it's great at crowd control, um, but... Until it isn't. <laughs> yeah, until you have to reload it. Yeah. But if you have a bigger mag, you can, it's 100% more crowd control. Oh. That's cool. Speaking of fan favorites, the breaker. Oh, the breaker. <laughs> so have we, have we finally reverted the breaker to what it was at launch? <laughs> yes, yes, we have. <laughs> we have. Congre Wait, you got more. It actually got more stagger. Oh. It can stagger hunters now. Oh, nice. 
Yeah. And 16 rounds per per, per magazine. magazine. Yes. Nice. And no, we didn't also take away magazines. Mm. <laughs> uh, and one exciting update this time around is spray and pray. Oh. Uh, it's one of those weapons that has been neglected. It's been uh, sat there in a corner. It's done its thing. Yeah. Uh, but uh, this time around, we've uh, introduced a duckbill choke to yeah. the spray and pray, which means that the shotgun blast will spread out more horizontally than vertically. Yes. Um, and we increase the damage. Oh, nice. So uh, it goes from 192 to 240. Nice. Laser. Lasers. Uh, we can maybe talk about this like in all the lasers, but uh, the size, yeah, we start there. Uh, we gave it a uh, low powered scope. Because oh. that seemed reasonable with the how accurate it is. Right. So lasers travel fast and therefore you can be pretty accurate with it. Yeah, that makes sense, right? Uh, one thing we've done for all the laser weapons is they they set enemies on fire faster. Okay. Like we last patch we added so they actually set things on fire. Normally when it got set on fire it was already dead. Mm. So now it sets on fire faster. Okay, so you basically went out with a with a magnifying glass and tested it out. Yeah. You know, for research. Mm. Also the uh, recoil has been been reduced quite quite a lot on laser weapons. Uh, yeah, we removed it. Well, so yeah. You know, because that makes sense. Yeah, right. Laser doesn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Imagine having a, a laser pen as a presenter and that had recoil. <laughs> Would be I a mean, horrible presentation. Oh, another favorite the crossbow. Ah. It has had so many changes at this point. Yeah. But I think we're finally there. We're when it was introduced. It had a big explosion radius, mm. and it did a lot of damage. So what we did was, we gave it a big explosion that did a lot of damage. So I think we're back. Okay. I think we went full circle on that one. Yeah. Except that it's also one-handed now. This one is one that uh, nobody asked for, but we did it anyways. <laughs> and that is the <laughs> Eruptor. Yes. We brought the shrapnel back. Yeah. We're finally there. We finally had time to do it properly. It has shrapnel. It is not at when it was introduced. It it actually had the wrong shrapnel. Like it did potentially over nine thousand in damage. Mm, that's a lot. Of, yeah, it's over nine thousand. It it is over nine thousand. Uh, now it won't do that much, but it, it still has a lot of shrapnel. It feels good. It's what it's supposed to have been. Mm. Right. And uh, but did you remove the explosion? No. Okay, so it's explosion and shrapnel. Yeah. And then uh, going back into some some other uh, older weapons, the Defender. Yeah, I mean we adjusted it slightly. It was just slightly too weak. Mm. So we increased the damage a little bit, and that's it. After that, though, we have a weapon that isn't wasn't that good, but a lot of people used it, and it was a favorite. It's the Liberator Penetrator. Okay, and we have the damage. Okay, so and and the liberator penetrator now is at the le power level where the lib regular liberator was before. Yeah, we increased him from forty-five to sixty. Yeah, uh, so that means that it will shoot as the liberator did, but punch through armor. Yes. So it will do more, more, more. Okay. Yes. Cool. <laughs> uh, and then we have the uh, the uh, marksman rifles. Yeah, so let's let's talk about those in like a bunch. The 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 dirigents and the counter sniper. Mm. So we just we just took them to eleven. Just like one twenty five damage from diligence, let's go to one sixty five. That makes a lot of difference when like if you're shooting at a, a hunter, it dies in one shot. Hit the body, it dies in one shot. Mm. Shooting at the uh, a warrior, hit the head, it dies in one shot. Okay, so you mean with the regular diligence, people will be able to live out their marksman fantasies against the bugs and just go from headshot to headshot to headshot. Yes, and if you have really like those marksman uh, fantasies, then you just go to the counter sniper, because we took it up to 200 damage, mm. and we increased the the stagger force and the damage versus durable. Uh, we like more than triple it. So, so it doesn't matter if if I just hit a devastator, they'll they'll. They'll wobble around. Um, 
No, but a warrior will. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So if I just hit a warrior, if I hit a warrior, they'll just wobble around. Yeah. So if you miss the <laughs> shot, then you'll be able to take a second shot. Yeah. Oh yeah. Now we have a uh, one of the powerful weapons that maybe we shouldn't touch because it's really good. It was the blitzer, but we touched it anyway. Okay. Where did you touch it? Uh, I touched it on the stun button. Okay. <laughs> so. Uh, all the arc weapons uh, on the arc weaponry, like the Tesla Tower, the Arc Thrower, the Blitzer, they now also stack up a stun value at the target, just like the Pummeler. Okay, so you can crowd control more efficiently with the Blitzer now than you could before. Yes. So we've done some major adjustments to all the flame weapons. Yeah, we just went back. Oh. We reverted it. <laughs> As we should have. <laughs> Uh, but I, thought, I yeah. thought we couldn't revert it. Uh, life uh, finds a way. Okay. Like, so. uh, th there was some stuff to go through, but uh, it was the right thing to do. So every everything's possible if you put enough time into it. Okay. And uh, the uh, flame weapons has also got an, uh, an armor penetration increase. Yes. From three to four. What that basically means is, do you want to flame a charger? Do you flame, want to flame a hulk? Yeah. Go ahead. Hmm. Right, so the short range of the flamethrower is going to be... I mean, it's still a problem that you have a short range with a yeah. flamethrower, but... You'll be rewarded better for mm. that. Uh, you're giving up your range, so we also think like, let's also give you more damage. The torture does 50% more damage. Mm. So, and, and this means that I can have, have flame offs with, with the hulks. Yeah, it does. Okay. I haven't tried that yet, but... You could say that it oh. would be a cooking showdown. Uh, okay, so what have we done for sidearms? Uh, well, we've done some things. Uh, not much for the Peacemaker. It got an extra magazine. Okay. Like, it'll be happy with that, I guess. And the dagger follows the uh, uh, general laser updates that we've, that we've done to all laser weapons. It will gain heat more slowly. Okay. That also goes for size, I realized we didn't say that. Mm. Uh, but yes, no recoil, uh, gathers heat more slowly. We increase the damage. Okay. So to 250, uh, or around 250. Mm. And um, it also sets enemies on fire faster. Right, I, and, and that's 250 per second. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and then the CRISPR. Yeah, it, it got the same deal as the other fire weapons, uh, as the torture. 50% more damage, they, they have the same damage, um, they also have increased arm penetration. So the difference between the CRISPR and the torture is basically, uh, well, th that it's a secondary versus a primary, but you have more uh, fuel mm. in your torture. <laughs> anti-tank weapons, recoilless, quasar, commando, expendable anti-tank, spear, patriot exosuits, and maybe more? Yeah, there's probably something more here. Uh, Sam sight rockets, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, right. They, they, their damage has been in, in, increased massively. Yes. Uh, the recoilers went from 650 up to 3,250. And it doesn't take a math genius to figure out that that's a lot more. It is. It is indeed. Now, the, the health of armored enemies has also gone up some, to not to the extent that anti-tank weapons have. And their weak spots have not gone up in uh, um, health. Well, it's like the Charger Butt has not gone up in health. Mm. The head have, but it's, it's a target for this type of weapons. Okay. Um, and yeah, we have it basically into three type of categories, uh, which was slightly different than they were before. So, because you have your spear, it's the big puncher, it does 4,000 damage now. Uh, so it's, I think it's the one with the highest damage. So you'll definitely eliminate almost anything that it hits. Yes. I think a Bile Titan and a Factory Strider can take more than one hit. Okay. But in two, they'll... Yes. Finito. Um, so and then we have the Recoilless Rifle and the Spear are the big hitters. You don't have to be that precise. If you hit the Charger in the side, it'll die. Mm. And if you want to be more precise, then you have the next category of weapon which is, um, it's like the expandable anti-tank. It's the, the quasar. You'll, if you hit the head of a charger, it'll die. 
Also, a charge behemoth. Hit the head, it'll die. Hit the side, it won't immediately die, but it will be really, really damaged. But you'll knock it open so that other people can pour into it and so forth. Yes. And then we have the third category, which is like the commando, the Patriot Exosuit uh, rockets. And they, they do a lot of damage, so you can just like pour into it and like stuff will die. Stuff will die faster than, than it used to, mm. but it won't be as much of a one-shot solution. Okay. Uh, so basically what this means for all of these dedicated anti-tank weapons, uh, if I team up with somebody and uh, assist the reload capacity with, as a team mm. weapon, you'll be able to lay down some proper fire. Oh yeah, if, if you take a recoilless rifle and you have a body that reloads you, like everything goes away. As long as you have ammo, stuff will die. Mm. Okay, so it's basically like having a delete button on hand that you use together with a friend. Yes. Cool. As it should be. As it should be. Yeah. So a grenade launcher. Yeah. Um, have an extra mag. Why don't you? Yeah. Okay, so that means you have three belts now? Yeah. You start with two, and if you start with uh, like um, the max, uh, then you, you'll have three. Okay. Uh, we did ex increase the explosion radius a bit, because why not? Oh. Have fun. Blow stuff up. So, and uh, what about uh, the laser cannon? I, I assume it follows the rest of the lasers? Yes, it does. But because it's AP4, it can now hurt a Bile Titan. Oh, okay. So uh, you'll see a laser show of four laser cannon users just bringing down Bile Titans. Yeah, if you want to do that, if you want to have a laser show and you want to kill big stuff, go ahead. Cool. Oh. Okay, um, another weapon that has been varied a little bit in efficiency is the arc thrower. What's its thing now? Yeah, so we're bringing it back closer to its former glory plus them some more. It range, it is currently 35 meters. We took it up to 55. Okay. And it will jump additional times and branch off. So now you usually won't hit one target. It will, it will jump around a lot more. Oh, and that, is, that includes your friends as well? Yes. Of course. So more volatile, more powerful, uh, kill your friends. Yeah, and it has the stun effect. Oh, the right, right, right. Now. Okay, yeah, it follows the same logic as the Blitzer, yeah. which, is, uh, which is great. And it's that kind of consistency that we're looking through uh, for in all of the weapon systems, so that if you know lasers, you know lasers, and they work the same way. Uh, the arc weapons, uh, they work in a similar fashion. Yeah. So what have we done to the railgun? We booted it up again. So the railgun does a lot of damage to normal enemies. Uh, it didn't do that much to very large enemies and like vo large volume bodies, uh, also known as the, the durable damage. So we kind of quadrupled that, basically, okay. from 60 to 225 in durable damage. And then to reward you properly for when you're taking risk, like just in safe mode, it will be stronger. But also remember, like the big enemies also gone up in health, so it is it will be stronger against them, but it still won't be like extremely strong. Mm. But by uh, taking uh, taking it into unsafe mode, we normally you if you charge it up like close to full, you did 50% more damage. Mm. Now you'll do. 150, you, 150 percent more. Yeah, okay. it's times 2.5 instead of times 1.5. Right. So you would get properly rewarded for when you take chances. And it's just, it does it still have the same same overcharge time as before? Yes. Okay. The stalwart follows the same uh, uh, logic as the liberator. It, ha it fires the same round, so it yeah. goes from 6 to 70 damage. Uh, durable damage increase and stagger force increase. So yeah. it is basically a, a, a high capacity liberator that you'll be able to use more effectively now, especially against like charger, charger butts, underside of uh, bile titans and so forth. Yeah. And the uh, anti-material rifle has pr gone to become a proper anti-material anti yes. rifle. Yes. It's, uh, we increased the dur durable damage towards uh, like large enemies. Um, but now their armor, like the enemy's armor is lower, so now you can actually hurt it. So if you take, want to take an anti-material rifle and just like unload all of that into a charger, you'll do stuff. Hmm. And it's, it's not like you're gonna one 
shot it in the head. But if you unload a clip in the head, it'll... I haven't done the proper math on that. I think it dies. Yeah, <laughs> it's the it's the technical term. Yes, uh, but but it still follow. Uh, it still has the kind of same use that it did before, where it's like devastators and and the hive guard primary targets for it. But it can also start. Uh, it's now also efficient against uh, uh, the heavy units. Yes. So a heavy machine gun is now able to defeat. Uh, uh, Charger, Bile Titan, Impaler, Hulks. Yes, it's very satisfying. Yeah. So and it uh, uses uh, a roughly the same caliber and ammunition as an anti-material rifle, so it also staggers better. Mm. Uh, the next one is uh, maybe a bit controversial, but we'll, we compensated for it, and it's the Commando. It does not destroy a fabricator on one rocket anymore, but we gave the, the fabricator health and, and like a proper armor. So any weapon that has uh, anti-tank capacity or like the railgun and stuff can destroy fabricators now. Recoilers will do it in one shot. Um, I think like an Eater or Quasar will do it in one shot too. Um, the Commando actually needs two rockets for it. Mm. But with higher health, uh, isn't that... Uh, causing the scenario where you'll shoot it and you don't know what happens to it. Ah, good point. Uh, we did add some effects to it to show uh, how damaged it is. Right. So if you take your commando and throw one rocket into it, you'll notice uh, that it's damaged. Okay, that's, uh, that's actually great. Flamethrowers in general are just like more powerful. They're back to the former glory in visuals. They're more powerful. As it should be, right? Like, we always pride ourselves that, like, our flamethrowers are good. Mm. And somehow, we managed to f*** that up. <laughs> and here we are, but we'll make it great again. Yeah. And now they can also defeat enemies like the Charger, Bile Titan, Impaler, and Hulks. Yeah, just flame away. Oh. For grenades, we've only changed two grenades. It's the Frag and the Thermite. Where the Thermite is uh, probably the one that has the biggest change. It went from 100 damage to 2,000. Yeah, it seems reasonable. Yeah. So, and this is to counter the uh, the increased health of the enemies, which means that you'll be able to take out those kind of heavy hitter. Yeah. It's an anti-tank weapon, basically. It's a grenade that should kill that type of things. So it needs to do its job. So if you take a thermite and you chuck it on the charger and it sticks to the body or its head or something, it's going to die. Mm. Cool. You uh, can carry less of them, though. You only get three. The 500 kilo bomb ah. radius is... It's back, baby. No, wait. It never was here. Ah. It is now what it's supposed to be. Yeah. The 500 kilo bomb radius is as the visual explosion says that it should be. So it'll blow up a lot of enemies. Uh, we also we adjusted all the other like barrages, etc. to match for the health increase of the big enemies. They should feel roughly the same. Maybe a bit more powerful. Mm. Like big, big booms should boom big. Yeah. And that, that's the orbital barrages, eagle airstrikes, orbital ray cannon, etc. Just to be able to mitigate those enemies. But it also means that if you hit smaller enemies, they'll basically obliterate them immediately. Yeah. And the orbital rail cannon will one shot a uh, bile titan. Mm. So let's talk about the emancipator. Yeah. Okay, so the Emancipator, uh, with its four auto cannons, we've adjusted the, the fire rate on each of the weapons from 125 to 175, which means that you'll be able to do more burst damage. Yeah, you can fire more, and because you want to fire more, we also gave you more ammo. Oh, so... so you get a 100 shots per arm instead of 75. Okay, so 200 total, and then a faster fire rate. Yes, and we increased... We more than doubled the damage versus durable, so you can now properly use it against Bile Titan chargers and heavy stuff. Okay, that's nice. And we're back. Yes. Never left. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Imagine just saying we're back. <laughs> when you just go to the next count. That's dumb. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the gameplay changes to enemies. There's a lot, lots of things that we've done, and it's in the sort of in, in the spirit of like, yes, weapons are more powerful uh, in this update. It is going to be much more engaging to play. But with that, to retain some of that challenge, uh, we've really taken a good hard look at 
a lot of the enemies. Hulks. Uh, another fan favorite, or well, my, uh, probably my <laughs> my nemesis. It kills me more than any other enemy. Oh, really? Yeah, I always die to them. All right. More weapons can damage it, like it has lower armor. Uh, but we decrease the health of the weak spot, so or like the on the back, so uh, they'll be easier to destroy. Um, we did also increase. I thought the the bruisers they didn't do that much usually. Mm. So we increase how often they fire and we rip their, I think it's left arm off and uh, the rocket launcher and we gave them an energy cannon instead. Okay, that's, but that's great because it, it will cause me to ragdoll less. Yeah, you'll just take a lot of damage when it hits you. Okay, so it's... There, there's enough rockets on the bot side. Yeah, so. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and and you, you've said so as well. Yeah. Uh, that when playing against the bots, you b are often just uh, rolling around in the dirt. Yeah. W what is up then with the devastators? Uh, like rocket devastators? Right. Specifically. Yeah, very specifically, yes. Uh, so the rocket devastators, they have limited ammo. When they fire a rocket, you'll see one go away. And I think they can only fire like three bursts or something of it. And then they need to reload because they have an extra pack uh, of rockets on the back. They can reload once. Mm. Then there are other rockets. So, so basically, I'm, I'm hiding behind a ro rock. They blow their load all over me. And then I can move out of cover. Yes. Nice. If you hide behind a the rock, they'll eventually run out of rock. Yes. Nice. Yeah, it'll be a little bit of a walk of shame, but I think that's <laughs> nice. Cool. Uh, and oh, this yeah, we should also mention the collision of the rockets is smaller. Okay. So, so you used to be able to, like, the rocket actually missed you, but it exploded anyway, and then you ragged all. Mm. Okay. And um, how, by how, so let's say a rocket is like this big. Yeah. How much bigger was the collision box for the rocket than? About that big. Okay. So we reduced it by 80%. Okay. Do. Gunships as well run out of ammo now. Mm, yes, oh. yes they do. Well, moving from long-range blow-up things mm. uh, to uh, uh, close-range shoppy shop things. Right. My favorite. Berserkers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the berserkers. So we uh, decreased the health a little bit, and for some reason they had a little bit more health in the head than a devastator. Okay. So I, I don't know why, but that's gone now. And uh, the Devastators, they have the, the abdomen is like a weak spot for them. It wasn't for the Berserkers, so now it is. Okay, so it's making the con creating the consistency between the Devastators and the Berserkers. Yes. Okay, one of the things that the community has commented on the most, I think, yeah. is the Charger. Yes. Uh, what's, what's our perspective on the Charger? What, what have we done and why? Right, so the Charger is like... It's often there, it's very, it used to be very armored and it was like hard to tackle. You needed the right tools and usually you run out of like, I don't have more rockets now. So I guess I'll just drown in chargers. Mm. Well, we lowered the armor, as we said before. It's, you have a lot of more tools that can actually deal with it. We lowered the, uh, the health of the butt. Oh. So that is easier to destroy. Um, we also lowered the armor significantly on the belly. You okay. can actually take a Liberator and shoot it in the belly if you're, for some reason, under, under it. Ah, you like probably you should. Sure. <laughs> <Yeah. Occasionally. laughs> you probably shouldn't be there, but <laughs> if, if, if you can find the belly, the, like, it's uh, much more vulnerable now. So if you find the char Charger of the Rock, uh, <laughs> then you'll be able to defeat it from the front, from underneath. Yes. The Charger of the Rock it will, it will be less of a menace. Yeah. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what is its wisdom? Yeah. Uh, we also made sure that uh, when you blow off a side or uh, the butt, uh, how much damage you do to the insides when you've ex uh, exposed it to GUI center, uh, that's you do 100% more damage now to it. Okay, so basically you expose its inner organs and bullets hurt it in the organs. Yeah, that w you'd think that would be obvious. Yeah, um, cool. Uh, um, but also, let's yeah. go into the, its charge. Yeah, because one of the things that really frustrated me when, when playing the game is the way that the charger passed me and I was gonna lay up, lay into it with the, uh, the stalwart and it immediately <laughs> turned around. It's a classic 180 charge scope. Yeah. 
Um, so first of all, it charges less often. Okay. So when when you have a lot, like especially when you have several chargers, like there's just like a bullfighting fest going on. Mm. It will be less so, but it's also it turns slower. Like when it's charging, it will turn slightly slower, and then when it's not charging, so when it has completed its charge, needs to turn around, or you're trying to get around it, it will turn. I think it's around half mm. the speed. It, it's still not like super slow to turn, but it is less of a I'm just gonna turn. In, Instantly. Right, it gives me a little bit more of a chance, but with that, it also means that it will charge. It will charge less of, often, but it also has turn around, which is a little bit slower, which means that it will charge even less. So, fighting multiple chargers at any one time won't be like a mad bull rush constantly uh, yes. hurling at you. But to compensate for that, and because it's logical, when you get hit by the charger, it'll hurt more. So it's, you mean that this like five. Ton, ten ton, fifteen ton. Yeah, something like that. Bus hitting me will hurt. Yeah, it, I mean it's an outrageous proposition, I know, but uh, yeah, it'll hurt. Okay, so one of the more recent additions to the to the bug horde, the impaler. So uh, it also has lower armor. Right. So you can use more weapons to kill it. Uh, it's like exposed head has uh, less health. So it'll die pretty fast, uh, but uh, to compensate, the tentacles that just ragdolled you all the time and basically didn't do much damage at all, they won't ragdoll you as much because you'll die faster. Oh. It'll do a lot more damage. Checks out because it's a big stabby pointy thing and it probably weighs a couple of lots of pounds or kilos or whatever weight yeah. measurement you use. So and it comes down at a rap broad rapid speed. Yeah, it looks like it will smush you, and it will. No, oh. well, that checks out. And then we noticed some other issues with the impaler as well. Like it has an had an uh, uh, the, the camera shake with it was way too mm. aggressive. Yeah. There's some just you know uh, quality of life things that we've fixed for it. Yeah, so we lowered the camera shake because it got into some sort of like roller coaster situation where it's just like. I can't really see what I'm doing. And um, we also lowered the damage you need to do to them to retract. So if you just like put some fire into them, they will like go down again. Okay, right. So even if I don't have the anti-tank weapons or something with a high damage output, I can just ensure that it uh, retracts its tentacles to protect itself. Yeah. How about uh, how about Bile Titans then? Yeah, the I mean, big, big boys. Yeah, like, like the whole thing with uh, our changing our health, but it is uh, like the underside of it. Like when you when you destroy its belly, it can't puke anymore, and then it used to be kind of armored on the downside. Even though it was very fleshy and it was weird, and you guys have told us that it's weird, we agree. So it's unarmored basically underneath now. Mm. It'll still take a lot of bullets to take it down, like. It, it is smart. It's a bigger enemy. You should probably use something that explodes. Because yeah. explosions works very well against exposed flesh. Right. Who could have known? So a grenade launcher is going to be more effective. Uh, I assume the, the auto cannon will have an improved effect on it if you hit, hit its underside. Yeah. Um, flamethrower? Yes, definitely. Mm. So standing under it, flame upwards. Yes. Uh, maybe not the safest spot to be, but yeah, uh, and it, no, but you know, it, it, but, but when you're cool. a hell diver, like you, you want to <laughs> stand under a big enemy and just flame upwards. Like, you're a hell diver in a war zone. Nothing is a safe spot, <laughs> so you just like go for glory. <laughs> go for glory. Why not? Yeah.